Hello, I've already done a podcast on energetic chords, and you'll find that in the playlist. However, I really thought it was important to do one in terms of past lives. So energetic chords are chords that come from chakra to chakra between us. So every chakra is connected in different ways to people by an energetic chord. So if you think about it as a hose pipe going from me to you, from my heart, from my sacral, from my throat. And these chords vary in size and some of them are healthy chords and some of them are unhealthy chords. The reason I want to talk about it in the past life section is because when we've already had many lives of people, we've already formed all these chords. The chords are already formed, that we get born, we meet them again, and as soon as we meet, the chord is alive again, exactly where we left it. This can be a good thing, because if it's from heart to heart chord, it'll be a healthy chord perhaps, you will love that person straight away, you already have a heart connection with them, or if it's a third eye, you always really have a mental connection with them. These things can be very good and in romantic relationships or relationships where we're meeting again and we've been together before as a couple, then those bottom three chords will be very active and the sexual chords, the base and the sacral will be already active. So when we meet straight away, it just gets stronger. This helps to get us to be together again because we're almost drawn to each other by the chords. It can also mean, though, that we can be repelled from certain people. We've had bad lives with other people and difficult past lives. These chords can be really unhealthy, and when we meet them, we can actually not like them or want to be with them this life. Sometimes we're supposed to do lessons with them, and they will be in parts of our life we can't probably get rid of them. Often that's in our family. And then we'll have to work on those healthy and unhealthy chords. The past life chords are there often as lessons too, and there's some karma involved in past life chords. Perhaps our lesson this time is if we have come together again and we've got control chords in the solar plexus, that's where it usually is with people, it's a chance to work on the control issues between us and cut the chords this life because we now have the knowledge of how to do it. If they're throat cords where they're shutting us down or don't want us to speak or we have trouble being open with them and communicating, perhaps that's time to cut the unhealthy cord between us and make healthier cords. These cords are active. They, they never cease to be active. And as soon as we meet, they're like more active because now we've not only got an energetic soul cord connection, Now we have a human connection, so we're in the physical form and we're also in the soul form. You will know who the healthy cord people are because you will feel it. If it's a healthy heart cord, you will feel nourished. You'll feel happy and loved. If it's an unhealthy cord, you will feel neglected and rejected and that the person isn't feeding you emotionally. You will feel that. The power cord with the solar plexus, you'll feel that because of If it's healthy, you'll have equal balance of power and control in the relationship, be a lot of give and take. If it's not, it'll all be going one way and one person will be controlling and manipulating you through various methods that they've probably used before. I know that the people I attracted this life and chose to be with, I'd been with before. I knew the many lives I'd had with them. I'd been told about some of the lives and mine were all centred around love and control. Probably their control and their lack of love were many of the chords and they were supposed to surmount this life and improve it and I was supposed to work on my issues as well with the chords. These chords, you you can't see them but you will feel them. If you have met somebody and it feels like deja vu that you've known them before, you have. It was past life connection and now From now on, you will start doing the work as Wendy or Bob or Harry or whatever you are this time. And your relationship will also be a certain relationship, like maybe mother and son last time, but maybe now you're going to be a couple. When there have been a lot of past lives between you, the cords are quite strong and they're quite firmly in your aura. For example, I'd had many, many lives with my husband and many of those had been also in a romantic way. So when we met, 
the heart cord was very strong between us and remained till his last breath. So that cord was always really strong. No matter what was happening, the heart cord, the love cord was strong. We might have had different ways of showing love and our capacity to love was maybe different, but the actual cord was quite, quite strong. I also felt that the bottom cords were strong between us, that's the sacral and the base, which was the sexual attraction and the drawing together. And that helped to bring us quickly back into the relationship again and start our lives because we were meant to have these children together, etc., etc. It will often the cord will often propel the relationship. There can also be a difficult cord if you're in a relationship where you're very sexually attracted to them and they're very healthy relation unhealthy relationship for you, then you're going to struggle with that. But you can actually cut those cords. So all you do is see them and cut them. In my podcast I've gone into more detail of the energetic cords and how to cut them. In the past life one now I'm just telling you that they are already in place, you're not forming them. Then it's not your imagination. The relationship will be tugged and pushed and pulled and loved and nourished and not nourished by these cords. Even though the relationship might be a different dynamic this time, certain cords will remain in place, particularly the solar plexus and the heart cord. Those two will very much remain in place. So whether you're now uh, in a family or romantic relationship or friendship, they will be your mainstays. They will be your strongest cords. Look around. You will see who the past life people are. You probably know you've been with them before. Then look at the past life cords because that's where you want to go and you want to do work on strengthening them, cutting them, or weakening them in a sense when you cut them, or just not bowing to them knowing that the cord is there and it was probably past life and that's why it's so easy for you to submit to them when they're trying to be controlling because you've had generations and lives and lives and lives when perhaps they were in the control position more than you were and now this life you need to do something to fix it. The heart cord's very important in the past life as well because you will have a strong heart cord to them and that will get strengthened hopefully this life because you'll come more from love and give more love. I found the past life cords really interesting and fascinating. It gave me another area to work on. So not only do you do the cutting of the energetic cord, you can actually, if you want to, cut the cord from the past life as well, if you think that will help. I feel it's a good thing to do both, past life cutting and then energetic cutting this life. Cords are great to have between each other, but, but they can also be unhealthy and they can be also somewhat draining. You will want to have the relationship this life for as long as you've deemed it to be until the lessons learned or if the karma's burnt. However, you don't have to have the cords, especially the unhealthy ones. Go and have a look at the people. Feel where you can feel the tug. That's where it is. That's where the tug is. That's where the cold is. That's uh, working, activating and work on strengthening or cutting them if they're unhealthy. Your life will be better and you will be free of the past lives. It's also a great learning spiritually and ascending in our vibration and ascending in our understanding of how spirit work and, and how energy works and how the aura works. And you can do this work quite simply and it's very powerful. I'm sending you lots of love and lots of light.